There are a lot of secrets down here in the dark. You make weapons for the government? No. I make intelligent machines. Machine? Open your eyes. It's incredible. It's conscious. Conscious machines are dangerous. This machine has the potential to be so much more than just a soldier. They're afraid of you. They think you're too human. What are you looking for? Where are you going? I got my own. I got my own. She's deranged. I am working on a way to restore it. What are you really? I am part of the new world. And you are part of the old. So this trailer review goes out to Kay Wong, who over the last few days has been very enthusiastically asking me to review the trailer for The Machine. And not only was I like, wow, this enthusiasm is like so great that I have to see what Kay is talking about, but also I really appreciate that Kay wanted to bring me into their excitement for this film. And so let's talk about it, Kay, and everyone else here. I'm excited to see what we all think. Do we agree with Kay that this movie looks really promising? Because Kay feels this could be, I believe Kay said, the next Purge. And I felt The Purge was a very good film and had a lot of great social commentary as well as being a well-made horror film. How do I feel about The Machine? Well, right off the bat, I'm very impressed with the special effects here, uh, and also the directorial choices. It's so nice to see a movie like this. I mean, I think often when you think low-budget sci-fi horror, uh, it tends to be a little cheesy, you know, corners are cut, uh, it's not taken seriously. But I, I'm very excited to see this level of artistry put into the film. Uh, so I'm very impressed with that. Now, this is a story that obviously, you know, tale as old as time, machine and human. Uh, there's, I love Almost Human right now on TV, uh, on Fox with Carl Urban and Michael Ely. I think that is like one of the best TV shows on right now, along with The Blacklist, uh, of new shows of the season. Uh, and, and as for, so the, because of that, the machine really has to differentiate itself and make itself different. Now, the way it seems to have done that is by, and this is where it loses me a little bit, copying some other films, and such as Splice. This reminds me a lot of Splice, actually, and to some degree, uh, Species. Now, when you have kind of, a, uh, you, when you put a kinky uh, layer to your film, and you add this kind of, my experiment wants to have sex with me angle, uh, I think you lose a lot of your audience, particularly to some degree, I think, maybe female moviegoers. So, you know, that kind of an angle, I'm like, I don't want to watch a robot sexually harass uh, a scientist for like an hour and a half. Uh, but I will say that, you know, the special effects look really great, the way that the body, uh, that robot's body lights up when they're in that hangar, uh, you know, and also the choice to like show her dancing, I think, uh, you know, almost like, you know, like a ballerina in a music box, like they have the creation like that. That's just a really out there choice that I don't think you would usually associate with this kind of film. So that's great. So even I feel if the machine doesn't do well in the uh, in theaters, I think it's director, um, I wrote this down here, uh, Cara Dog W. James. I feel that that person will definitely be noticed by Hollywood and picked up for a, a sci-fi project at a studio. So, I mean, that's what's, that's what's great about this kind of movie. If you make this kind of effort, you know, even if you can't succeed at the box office, uh, people will take notice and, you know, this is a great, you know, first major film, which I believe it is for uh, Cara Doc W. James. Uh, yes. I think, I, I, from what I could see, mostly shorts and much smaller films. So just like Gareth Edwards got bumped up to Godzilla off of Monsters, uh, who knows what could be in Caradog W. James's future. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, so Kay, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think that the kinky aspect will turn people off? How do you? How did you feel about that? Because uh, you know, I'm not saying it's going to be as kinky as Splice. Splice was like infamously kinky. Uh, very odd, but you know, but I do see good things here. Maybe I would rent it, but I have to say, because I'm watching Almost Human on TV right now, that hurts this mo movie a little bit in terms, just for me, because I'm already watching this kind of a story. And Michael Ely's very good in his robot role. Great, great, great job. So uh, write your thoughts down below. Thank you, Kay, for asking my, for my review. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, and again, if you guys ever want to see a trailer review uh, of a specific trailer that I haven't covered, you know, just write it in the comments and like, Kay, 
don't give up, you know, and I'll, I will get to it and I will try and do it as soon as possible. I think Kay's only been asking for about a week, so I think that's pretty good. All right, thank you everybody for tuning in and you can check out some more episodes right now.